I'm going to tell you why I wind up watching Steel Magnolias. There's one with uh, Julia Roberts. There's one with Queen Latifah. How many of you guys heard of Queen Latifah? Okay. I don't know if you guys know, but Queen Latifah is, it used to rap too. She started off as a rap, rapper. So, this is my connection to Queen Latifah. Have any of you guys ever seen the, 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 the show, maybe some reruns of a show called Living Single? Yeah. Queen Latifah was in Living Single at the time, okay? Well, I was like the hottest thing in Oklahoma, so they, we, they, we had, they had a big show up in Oklahoma City. And so we was on the show, Queen Latifah was one of the ones that was performing. And so anytime I bless the stage, I'm trying to give it a thousand. You know, and that's why they called me Player 1000. I was trying to give it a thousand percent. And so we went out there and we rocking it. Blah, 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 blah. And then we come off the stage, right? And the first person I see is Queen Latifah. And I felt like I was in an episode of Living Single at the time. Because she looked at me and she was like, bro, y'all had a rocking though. And I was like, oh, dang, that's the queen. You know what I mean? Oh, I had a queen. And so it stuck with me. It stuck with me. And so I said, Queen Latifah's in this. And, and you remember that? Cause she just, it just, she just happened to turn on the channel. I said, I gotta watch this. But I didn't know the storyline was so deep. It changed my whole perspective. So the story was, there was this young lady that was about to get married. Found that she had diabetes. They told, the doctors told her that she shouldn't have kids. She was about to get married. So she told her husband, you know, I don't, I don't, she decided she didn't want to get married because she thought she was letting him down if she couldn't have kids. He was like, no, baby, you ain't let me down. It's okay. Hey, we can adopt. We can do whatever we need to do. So they wind up getting married. She wind up getting pregnant. What do you think everybody told her to do? Abort the baby. Have an abortion. She was like, I'm not aborting my baby. She knew what the risk was, though. Everybody wanted her to abort the baby. She had the baby. Everything was good for a minute. And the reason why she couldn't have babies is because the diabetes had affected her kidneys, so her kidneys were not gonna be strong enough. And so the baby was born, they got a good year out of it, and she wound up dying. And I'm sitting up there with tears in my eye. Because my mom is from Hugo, Oklahoma. She was sick. She went to a clinic. She got misdiagnosed. They gave her the wrong medicine. It messed up her kidneys. And what do y'all think they told my mom? Not to, have kids. Not to have kids. What do y'all think happened? Yeah. What do you know happened? You. But when she... <laughs> 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 I like that. I like that. But on, on a real note, everybody told her not to have me. I'm the only kid from my mom. I was four years old. And she died kidney failure and so I wrote I told you guys my whole life was about writing life is tough when you're missing mama as a boy I remember I was wishing mama wake up thought you were sleeping hope you're listening mama hear my cries I can't remember even kissing mama my mama left me lonely at an early age heard him say the Lord be working in mysterious ways I'm living proof it hit me at the age of four couldn't understand why my mama wasn't around no more. Since I write, I get a chance to conversate with mama. Tell about my highs, lows, set the record straight with mama. Look up and smile, really celebrate with mama. I hope you hear me, see? Because this I dedicate to my mama. That's my wife.